Thomas P. M. Barnett's The Pentagon's New Map, War and Peace in the 21st Century, is an influential analysis of global security dynamics in the post-Cold War and post-9-11 era. This book has sparked both acclaim and controversy, offering a framework to understand how globalization, economics, and military strategy intersect in the modern world. Barnett categorizes countries into two broad groups, the functioning core, which is integrated into the global economy and relatively stable, and the non-integrating gap, which is disconnected from global flows and thus more prone to conflict. Barnett's analysis of these zones aims to provide a vision of U.S. security strategy that emphasizes economic integration and conflict management rather than traditional warfare. Thomas P. M. Barnett is a strategic planner and public speaker specializing in international security. Holding a Ph.D. in political science and a background in defense analysis at the U.S. Naval War College, Barnett's experience spans both academic and practical realms. He played a vital role in shaping defense policy, particularly with his contributions to the development of a grand strategy to guide American foreign policy post-9-11. Barnett's insight into military and geopolitical strategy, combined with his understanding of economic systems, makes him a particularly suitable author to provide a roadmap for global security in the 21st century. When the Pentagon's new map was written, the world was undergoing significant transformation. The events of September 11, 2001, profoundly impacted U.S. foreign policy triggering military interventions in Afghanistan and Iraq. The end of the Cold War left the U.S. as the sole superpower, but the threat landscape had shifted from state-to-state -state competition to asymmetric threats, with non-state actors and failed states emerging as primary concerns. Globalization was creating an interconnected economic system that had left parts of the world behind, contributing to instability and resentment in these disconnected regions. Barnett saw these developments as indicators that a new approach to global security was necessary, one that combined military, economic, and political strategies to integrate disconnected regions into the global order. Barnett's book is structured around his theory of the functioning core and non-integrating gap. The core consists of regions integrated into the global economy, including North America, Europe, and parts of Asia where prosperity and relative stability reign. In contrast, the gap includes areas disconnected from global systems, places more prone to violence, terrorism, and instability, such as parts of the Middle East, Sub-Saharan Africa, and Central Asia. Barnett argues that the U.S. must focus on shrinking the gap by promoting economic connectivity and political stability. The book is notable for its practical and sometimes controversial approach. Barnett emphasizes that the U.S. military should not only defend against threats, but also proactively shape the global security environment. This includes creating conditions for economic integration, which Barnett sees as the ultimate safeguard against instability. His model challenges traditional views, proposing that the U.S. should take a proactive role in promoting global order not by direct control or occupation, but by fostering interconnectedness that brings prosperity and diminishes sources of conflict. One of the book's central themes is the idea that disconnectedness breeds conflict. Barnett views economic and technological integration as fundamental to reducing global violence, arguing that as more regions are incorporated into the global economy, the fewer conflicts there will be. To achieve this, he advocates for a restructured U.S. military that can handle both traditional combat operations and stabilization efforts, what he refers to as the Leviathan and system administrator functions. While the Leviathan force would engage in high-intensity conflicts, the system administrator would focus on peacekeeping, reconstruction, and integration efforts. This dual strategy represents a shift in military thinking, positioning the U.S. as a global stabilizer rather than merely a defender. Barnett's approach to shrinking the gap was forward-thinking, but also raised ethical questions. His view implies that the U.S. should play an active role in transforming unstable regions, which critics argue could lead to interventionism and overreach. Nonetheless, Barnett's argument is grounded in a belief that global security can only be achieved when all regions benefit from the fruits of globalization and he offers a concrete strategic framework to realize this vision. 
Since Barnett published the Pentagon's new map, several of his predictions have proven accurate. For instance, the instability in disconnected regions such as the Middle East and North Africa has indeed led to conflicts that drew the U.S. and its allies into military interventions, such as those in Libya, Syria, and Iraq. These areas, marked by weak governance and limited economic integration, have seen persistent instability, supporting Barnett's thesis that disconnectedness contributes to conflict. Moreover, Barnett's predictions regarding the need for stabilization forces have manifested in the U.S. military shift towards peacekeeping and nation-building missions. The system administrator concept became evident in operations that focused on post-conflict reconstruction, such as the NATO-led efforts in Afghanistan to rebuild local governance and infrastructure. Similarly, U.S. involvement in counterterrorism and stabilization operations in Africa and the Middle East aligns with Barnett's call for a force capable of both combat and peacekeeping. Barnett's theory of economic integration as a tool for peace has also resonated in global politics. Institutions like the World Bank and International Monetary Fund, along with organizations like the United Nations, have increasingly advocated for economic development as a cornerstone of global stability. Initiatives like the Belt and Road Initiative, while led by China rather than the U.S., echo Barnett's argument that integration and infrastructure can stabilize regions traditionally cut off from global flows. The Pentagon's new map offers a bold and unconventional framework for understanding 21st century security. Barnett's integration-focused approach, which emphasizes connectivity and stabilization as tools for peace, has proven insightful as many of his predictions regarding disconnected regions have materialized. Despite critiques of its interventionist implications, the book underscores the importance of global integration for maintaining peace. Barnett's work remains a significant contribution to strategic studies, challenging traditional notions of warfare and redefining the role of the U.S. in promoting a secure and interconnected world.